So since playing both Ghost Recon games, Wildlands and Breakpoint, you guys seem to enjoy them and a lot of people are coming back to them. I also think they're great so I wanted to dive deeper into the Tom Clancy games. Another one of the biggest being the Division franchise, starting with The Division, which has just turned 8 years old a few days ago, which is just insane. A lot more than I thought, especially with how the game looks now and plays all these years later. So without further ado, let's start off with the gameplay of The Division. So the game is of course very similar to Ghost Recon, as in it follows the RPG mechanics with a looter shooter theme, though the games seem to all vary in how they want to balance the genre, so some moving towards the tactical shooter side more than others, and of course all being in third person, but as an overall they're all sort of in the same category. And one of the best aspects I loved about the RPG Ghost Recon games is the amount of customization options there are, and just versatility in your gameplay, therefore allowing the player to have a lot of freedom in how they want to play, helping to suit their playstyle, or if they want to switch it up a bit. Of course, this isn't missing from The Division, with the focus more on the loot rather than the gameplay and their options we had to choose from in Ghost Recon of course. There's actually minimal gameplay options and difficulty levels in this game. It seems to sort of push the gear more and what loadouts you'd like to experiment with. There's a ton of weapons to find and unlock as you progress further, with each one having a unique set of stats with it, where you can really experiment by combining different weapons for a new take on gameplay. And what's even better is that there's additional talents that accompany the weapons, meaning there will be small bonuses. These come in various categories and there's quite a few so I won't cover all of them but as an example extra critical damage increase which is part of the fierce talent then the steady talent which will remove a percentage of weapon sway for a certain amount of time if you hit a headshot. As you can see some are more specific than others but I just love how there's such a huge amount of variety in the loot which is quite important for the looter shooter game it is as it gives you way more of a purpose and push to unlock these guns for you to really customise your loadout and make it fun, therefore it doesn't start to feel so repetitive. And looking at the gun and movement mechanics themselves, it feels incredibly smooth and clean when shooting and covering. Of course the movement is a huge part of the game. The main gameplay is of course cover shooting and I found it fairly responsive, making it easy to move between covers, like if you want to turn the corner but making sure to stay in cover, then the game makes it clear by giving you a second or two to wait before switching over, and in that time it will show an arrow for where you're heading to. So it's just sort of small details like that which can make it less confusing and jolty in a way because it allows for time and decision making as well as if you misclick by accident then there's more leeway unlike other games and just overall it feels great to play in missions and the idea of just clearing out an area in such a tactical way or however you want is just what I loved about the Ghost Recon entries. There's different ways to go about a mission and make it feel different to you. On top of that it feels very smooth to traverse through and along with the huge variety of stats and extra abilities in weapons and gear, there's many additional items you can implement into your loadout, like many explosives to counter enemies with, this could be the standard frag grenade, sticky bomb or mines, just adding on to this experimental gameplay, with endless ways to go about each mission, even when the overall premise is straightforward. And I know I keep referencing other Tom Clancy games, but it's what these RPG games do so well at, like Ghost Recon. Now this review is from a solo campaign perspective, just like most of these reviews are, and the thing is with The Division, is that it's so fun to play both single player and focusing on the main and side campaign missions but also in pvp with either friends or random matchmaking the story and campaign itself is really important in the game and great to play through unlike the ghost recon games where i wasn't a giant fan of the story i'm not gonna lie but i knew that the main focus was the gameplay rather than the campaign for the most part and either way i always knew that would make up for it which would be the same for the division but in fact i also think the campaign is very well done in this and i recommend playing through this and not letting it go. It's what makes the game so great I think because the two main areas of gameplay and story are equally as good. And this brings me on to the other area of the world of The Division. It's also what makes this solo gameplay equally as great. The setting of future New York City with the post-apocalyptic theme to it. We've seen it done loads of times and this one all being set in the winter just creates such a great environment to play in. And even in solo because it feels so bleak and isolated with you as a player being one unstoppable person as you survive in this world by yourself and then when you go into battle there's a ton of enemies on the same team all trying to take you down you're obviously being heavily outnumbered now i know i mentioned the world feeling so isolated and eerie but the population density makes it feel so alive and not as in there's a lot of life in the city as it's the complete opposite but the few civilians you see that are left are all very lifelike they could be having conversations with one another or even moving past you whilst tackling a job like transporting materials 
wheels and planks and then you accidentally bump into them and ruin it. I was just surprised by the attention to detail of this world with nothing going unnoticed. There's just so many props and detail on the streets and with it being post-apocalyptic it's filled with rubble and litter everywhere. Not only does it look so well made but it benefits the gameplay because with it being a cover shooter there's lots of options to implement into the environment and use that as an advantage which is great. And the actual performance of the game and how it runs still holds up incredibly well at least with my experience of the game. Now I played on PC so unfortunately I don't have an idea of what it's like on console and this seemed to be an issue with some players and I did receive the odd comment that mentioned breakpoint for example not running that smooth on Xbox or PlayStation but even for me on PC the division seemed a lot smoother than I thought it would be compared to other eight year old games and from what I've seen Ubisoft have continued to update the game with new DLCs not so much as of late but numerous patches that continue to make the gameplay run smooth even nowadays especially with how dense and giant this world is mixed with the high action gunplay overall I loved playing the division and definitely recommend it to anyone that hasn't played it or even if you're thinking about returning to it I know I mention it a lot but the best part of these style of games especially in the Tom Clancy franchise is just the freedom you can have with the gameplay and you can really decide on the way you'd like to play the game which just creates such a fun experience mixed with the world movement and campaign itself I really enjoyed them all I'm kind of annoyed I didn't play them earlier now I'm sure I'll play the second entry of the division series the division 2 which I've heard mixed opinions on so that'll be interesting but if you did enjoy this review then let me know by tapping that like button down below and if you like single player and story driven games then that's what this channel is all about I have reviews on many titles with a playlist of a series I've done in the description and if you'd like to support the channel by becoming a member at either level 1 or 2 to gain access to various perks then click the join button below or there'll also be a link in the description. Thank you all for the support and watching until the very end that was The Division and bye bye.